have not only the courses in the field of energy technology, we have an energy academy in the field and the frame of International Polytechnic Summer and Winter School. So, as uh, Zarina already told you, uh, inside the Institute of Energy at the university, we organized so-called the International Energy Academy, where we uh, created a very big society uh, with engineers who are working inside the university, outside the university, in the research centers and inside the companies. A very big uh, team of volunteers, adapters and students of our university who are very much uh, eager to speak with different international students, especially in the field of engineering, uh, to uh, have a constant contact with them in order to apply for the international grants, to make the joint publications, and just to maybe drink a cup of coffee and to express the, the latest news in the energy field. So uh, it's not like only the educational program for us, it is the style of life, and uh, we are doing uh, these times of activities quite frequently, uh, four times a year, summer, winter, spring, and autumn. So as I already told you, we are a kind of, uh, let's say, uh, society or uh, like academy of a different kind of specialists, and uh, um, wh which is very nice that many uh, alumni of our school, they already uh, found uh, very good uh, job perspectives on the market, on the international market. Somebody already opened their own companies, they sell uh, engineering products, so for example, heat exchangers or boilers. Some uh, of them are working in the international, even leading universities and uh, organize different research activities. And uh, some of them, of course, are working in the modeling of construction of energy units. And uh, uh, inside of the uh, engineering courses, all nine modules, we invite uh, those alumni uh, graduates from our school school and they give let's say the lecture of prestige to say about the experience of the school about uh, the uh, useful uh, contacts which they uh, found here during these uh, school's activities and about uh, their uh, challenges which they face nowadays in their companies in their uh, work and we organize such a kind of uh, case study and uh, try to solve the current market issue uh, with the new innovation uh, technologies and approaches and uh, modeling uh, programs which we have uh, nowadays in the energy engineering sector. So this is very interesting uh, kind of activity. Uh, our main objectives uh, are cooperation, as I already told you, uh, it is a kind of net with the engineering all around the world, uh, academicians, specialists, students, volunteers, PhD students, postdoc uh, guys who are trying uh, to uh, develop uh, um, the energy sector and uh, contribute as much as possible. It is the uh, development because we try to attra attract even very, very talented foreign uh, students to the university to show them surroundings and to see uh, to uh, to give them not only uh, the feedback from the educational point of view but also from the cultural because uh, St. Petersburg as it was told already one of the most beautiful and charming uh, and romantic city especially during the summer a time when uh, there are white nights and you can read the book even during the night and explore the city on the boat uh, trips and uh, to go to the beautiful museums so uh, many students who came here with some kind of uh, maybe uh, not so nice expectations, they uh, say us a lot of positive words that uh, they opened the, the culture of uh, Russia, of St. Petersburg from another point of view and that they enjoyed it so much. Of course, uh, the main objective is uh, scientific because you come here or you study online because you want to get a certificate, because you want to get skills, because you want to get knowledge. So the um, scientific part is one of the most important. And uh, what is very nice that, again, I want to repeat that uh, it's not only uh, academic program, it's also program which is connected with the industry. So we have the real case study from the industry. It can be Gazprom, it can be Rosatom, it can be Rosneft, it can be uh, 
electrical companies who give the real case uh, from the from from the reality who um, are mentors of our students and uh, at the uh, end of the program uh, students uh, present their uh, presentations about case study so during these two weeks you not only attend classes but during maybe evening or, or in the early morning you um, gather all together with your groups and you are working on the special uh, task which um, uh, which we give to you and the cultural activity i already told you so uh to crown it all there are nine different educa educational modules uh in engineering it's the nuclear turbo machinery electrical oil and gas digital technologies in the energy industry power electronics, hydrogen, renewable and sustainable. So if to speak about the nuclear, it is mostly about the nuclear power plants, about modeling, about different regimes of work, about small modular reactor, about generation three, about generation four, about problems. And of course, some very trendy topics, like for example, nuclear desalination, because you know that nowadays, many countries, they face with the problem of the shortage and water stress, water stress of drinking water. Not so many uh, territories have water uh, uh, enough to drink and for the agriculture and for the uh, industry, like for example, for the cooling uh, system on the nuclear power plant. And that's why you need uh, to uh, desalinate the ocean, the sea water, and make it drinkable. And uh, we suggest the technology how to do it with the nuclear energy. Or, for example, another thing which is very interesting nowadays is uh, the uh, nuclear hydrogen production, because nowadays the world is so much oriented to the green technologies, to renewable energy sources, and hydrogen is um, involved in many energy strategies of different countries, and uh, there is an aim uh, to uh, reach uh, the zero uh, net mm, emissions, and uh, hydrogen is one of the most uh, let's say, uh, expected uh, source of energy. So we can produce uh, hydrogen with different sources, with the fossil fuels, uh, with the renewable fuels, and also with the nuclear. So nuclear hydrogen production is very interesting uh, topic nowadays. Within the electrical engineering, uh, there are many activities about renewable, about smart grids, about high voltage equipment engineering. So this is also very big and interesting topic. Topic. Uh, with the petroleum and gas engineering uh, students are uh, divided by teams and they also did uh, do the case uh, from Gazprom company and uh, they uh, are uh, speaking about different different drilling technologies about digital technologies in the oil and gas market and about uh, basic technologies of uh, well construction and uh, the most efficient uh, explosion of uh, oil uh, and gas. Uh, about digital technologies, uh, it is quite interesting topic to see uh, how uh, digital uh, systems and uh, innovations and programs help uh, engineers in the different fields of the energy sector. So we divide it by four parts, digital technologies in nuclear, digital technologies in renewable, digital technologies in oil and gas, and digital technologies in electrical engineering. So you attend all of these classes and you um, are working very much with your computers in order to understand the simulation, what is the digital twin and how it helps engineers in their everyday uh, life. With the renewable energy and sustainable, it is again about different kinds of uh, renewable technologies, solar, wind, hydropower, uh, heat pumps uh, technologies, and new innovations in the market. And uh, the last one is turbo machinery about different types of turbines, uh, gas turbines, steam turbines, micro turbines, uh, hydro turbines, wind turbines with a different scale, with a different consumption and uh, 
the new approaches in the construction and modeling of these uh, turbines. So uh, the academy is quite intensive uh, because each uh, day the schedule is quite tough. So each day you attend uh, classes, and uh, apart from these classes, you also have the cultural program and the case study, uh, which you have to present at the last day of the program. But of course, during the weekend, uh, we try to organize some uh, trips uh, with uh, uh, our students uh, to the surroundings of St. Petersburg and to show the beauty of the city and of the region. Uh, so, uh, despite uh, the global pandemic, the academy uh, didn't stop to work, and we nowadays suggest two types of uh, two formats of our schools on campus or online. So you can choose the most preferable for you. Uh, both variants have its. Um, positive points and negative. Uh, from one point of view, online maybe it's much more easier and you can be switched from different points in the world. But of course, uh, to come here and uh, to see uh, your classmates and uh, professors face to face is maybe much more comfortable because after classes, you can always come to the uh, professor and to discuss with him uh, some questions, maybe which you didn't get during the class, or maybe you can ask uh, some about your publications or about your um, plans for the thesis work uh, and you know there are some sometimes it happens that students uh, they like so much St. Petersburg that they come here for a semester exchange or even for the whole PhD study uh, to continue to work with the specific professor so it's also one of the possibility for you. There are many testimonials from students who came come here from different countries from Iran, from China, from uh, Indonesia, from uh, Singapore, uh, from uh, Germany, from Greece uh, so uh, you will uh, meet different um, uh, friends from all over the world. And uh, the uh, closest uh, programs is the uh, summer one and the spring one, which we will organize in the hydrogen. So if you are very much interested, please uh, join us. Here is my contact information. Uh, please feel free uh, to uh, send me all of your questions uh, to email or, or to the uh, common email, which uh, Zarina uh, will uh, tell you. Thank you very much uh, for uh, your time, guys, and your very welcome uh, to St. Petersburg.